watching the skies. Let's make sure that's all nice and set. There we go. Okie doke. Let's pop it up. Oh, no, that's my... I want to pop this one up a little bit. Can I... Please, Sai, cooperate with me. I just wasn't able to see. Good, there are. Now I can see it. Gotta scratch my ear. There we go. I'm drawing a map for a Pathfinder thing. Um, that, as I mentioned, might not happen for years. Um, base has some stuff on it, which is unintentional. Um, base was a sketch I made at work, which actually does not look all that bad, all things considered. It's got a mappy feel to it. You can sort of see what's going on. It's mostly the color, which is why this one has a little bit more going on. Here you can see these are shadowy mountains. Shadowy dunes, actually. Um, I try to make sure the dunes look dunier, and the mountains look nice and angular, to help tell where the where the desert is and where the desert isn't. I don't know how to draw the desert, though. I don't know what I'm going to do for that, because I do want to give the desert some sort of a, a sandy feel. Something like this, maybe? No, that looks too similar to that. Like, I need something that just looks like... Like, does it have, like, small little, uh, sand heaps, right? Like, maybe that? Like, would that work? Does that give that deserty feel? It might. I don't know. I just don't know. Como wanted to show up, but he didn't answer in time, so I'm like, okay. I'll just do what I do. These might be two small trees. They gotta be big enough that they don't, like, form a blur at, like, 100%. This is good enough, but... I think you can see, like, there's some something going on here. It's nice, nice forced. You see this grasslands, and it ends... Which is all it really needs. Um, let's go focus on this part then. Why is this on pin? Don't don't pin that. Don't stop pinning that. Um, this little camp up here, that's lit. I don't know how lit it is, Gamer Dragon. Because deserts can 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 exist for any number of reasons. Um, they could be there because of drought. They could be there because of heat. They could just be there for for all the for all the beans. I mean, there's deserts in like near uh, west of the Andes Mountain because the mountains just don't allow any water to fall there. So, let's give it a little bit of natural depth. So this is not. What is the scale of this? The scale I think was like, I was gonna go with like it's a day travel. From here, from from Freyport ish to there ish is about a day's travel, which would make the map around two, three, four, about a week across and a little over a week across. It's a nice way to put it. It's that little marcation line here. It's like, oh, you can travel this way. I still need to figure out something for the sand because I do want to give it a sandy feel, the occasional detail to help remind you, like something like that, you know, like a little little. But I don't know if that works. I guess I could look up some desert pictures. Um, let's pop up OBS and turn off the window so you can't see, because I don't want people complaining about that. Let's look at desert. Pictures of deserts. What did it look like? We well, got those little, little sand waves from time to time, and like dead shut ups. I guess I could draw a dead shut up left or right. Like something that looks dead and decrepit. Uh, really, I'll bring home this is a wasteland. Oh, now I know what they look like. Now I recall what they look like. They're little stones that like have like shadows of sand behind them because sand doesn't directly fall behind them due to the wind. Oh, that's a cute picture of a gecko in the, in the desert. That's nice. That's really nice. So it would look more something like like this. Like a little, 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 little nodule of sand in the middle of nowhere. And then closer to here, there's like trees that, that got too ambitious, like seeds that grew out. Like little, little little dead shrubs out in the middle of nowhere, and like here's like this long, elongated Egyptian fields of of crops. Because that's the breadbasket of the whole area is like this extremely fertile section of land that's next to a river, which connects to the I think they're called the Crystal Peaks. I think I call them that, which is where the Silver Dragon of the Tribune lives. There's a Tribune of dragons here that that sort of keep the area safe. Uh, there's gold near Freyport, there's the Crystal Peak Silver, and then somewhere over here I want to put the Sand Dragon, who probably lives in the in the Sinkin Sands area. Um, the Sinkin Sands is named for a reason. It's because if you try to walk there, you'll sink straight into the ground unless you've got, like, special gear. You need a big boat, basically. It's like, it's watery sand, essentially. It's quicksand all over the place. But there's something underneath the sinking sand. Um, I like this little, little watery building. Little, little, little water building. Why it's there, nobody knows. 
just kind of sunken. Maybe they'll go there. Because this map is like, it's supposed to inspire, I want to go there. It's like, it's, it's like someone goes, I want to go there. I want to go there. I want to see what this is all about. And then, then they go there. And I'm like, okay, you're there now. Or they, or they look in and they're like, man, what the hell is that? It's a big old, big old mouth. I'm going to go to that mouth. I'm going to get eaten. And I'm like, please don't make four at my table. Um, got a little tower up here. Mm. Got to add some more detail, though. It looks a bit sparse. Like, without the coloration, it looks a bit sparse in places. Which is where you add smaller mountains, like this one. Like this little baby boy. You add some smaller mountains to help add some detail. You kind of want to mix it up sometimes. Sometimes you want to put a little mountain in front. Yeah, I put a little mountain in front. That gives it a little bit more depth and detail. A little bit more love and aroma. Give them all different steepness. It really feels like a different place. I wonder if Como still wants to pop in. Como, I think, wants to pop in, but i got to turn window mode off, so... Um... Yeah, I... Como needs to pop on in. He said he wanted to pop in. Oh, that was a picture I wanted to use for a mummy. For the mummy thing, because I'm recording the, the mummy's path. Uh, mummy adventure path, and I wanted to record that, but that recording exploded. I'm, st I'm, not, I'm still a bit sad about that. Some place just put a little straightforward mountain. Like, this is the Dragon's Cave. Like, when you look at this map real close, you're like, hmm, there's a detail there. There's an interesting detail, like a little road going up there. And there's a road that splits off and it goes to this little village. But you need to give some small detailing. Hello, Como! Eh. Eh. Little details. Just little baby details to, to make sure that it looks like a place. Little, little roof shingles. Maybe this one has square shingles, just for the hex of it. See what Como has to say. Just pop on when you want to, Como. I'm ready. Actually, I'll make the call. Just tell me when you're ready. Tell me when you're ready, and I'll I'll pop the call. That way, no one has to hear the loud bring, bring, bring. Telephone, telephone. Bring, bring, bring. Ooh, now I want to make an area that's called Crown's Peak, which is a giant, like crown-shaped mountain range. Uh, that will require a little bit more preparation than I think about it. In the meantime, I'll just fill in some random details here. Nothing, nothing too exciting. Maybe I'll put some like small dunes here, like some sand that crept through. Create this weird sand dune as you walk up to the fortress. And you're like, how? Oh, why is that? I don't know. It's just how the natural features worked out. I like how there's some nice rolling hills here. That was a stripe I didn't mean to make. Also, uh, the reason that there's all kinds of stuff on one of the other layers, if you've ever be making paying attention, I'll show it in a second. Um, let me just pop it on for a second so you can see this. So the reason this all is over here, I don't know why. I think at some point it just duplicate it, it it used this button and it copied and cut all my mountain layer to layer one, which meant I lost all this progress because I don't want the colors. I wanted to speak for itself, and then maybe I'll add like the colors later. It's like, okay, here's an update. Here's a here's a better map that tells you what the the general biomes of areas are. That'd be cool. Like they unlock the knowledge. Because otherwise they have to interpret the maps, and they have to read the maps. They actually have to do their, their goddamn job. Look at this, this looks so much more busy. Isn't that great? Now it looks like a real mountain area, like a real busy terrain to travel through. And it looks like a nice little, little spot. Oh, man, I love this. This is great. Like, I just did what I wanted to, and, and it turns out great. Nice little twin peak. Uh, so let's make King's Mountain. Which is, again, going to take a little bit more work than, than otherwise. So how it's going to look is, it wanted me to be a circle of like four peaks. So it's going to be a peak here. It's going to be a peak here in the back. It's going to be a peak over here and it's going to be a peak over here. And I'm just going to draw them down. Como's ready for the call. And this peak's going to be over here. And this peak's going to go like this and it's going to end over here cuz this one's going to go over it. That looks okay. That looks like a king's peak. Maybe I'll put like a little plateau here. Like there's a little little plateau. King's peak. Maybe there's something up there. Who knows? Maybe by the time they arrive and I'm prepared for it, there's something there. <laughs> in a second, we'll have Como in the house. Hello, hello. It's Como in the house. 
Not to be confused. Not quite as good as the curry in the house, but it's getting there. The best anime, indeed. <laughs> I like how this map's turning out. Are you using a tablet, by the way? Yes, I have a drawing tablet. Are you having trouble with the pen pressure as well? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Mm -hmm. It's turning out great. The Crimson Actually, Sands. You seem to be. Because the. You seem to be having some pressure issues. Because I can clearly see the strokes that were uh, pressure sensitive, and now it just doesn't seem to work on your end. Oh, no, no. The pressure still works. I just can't use pressure very well. Hmm. Just look at that. Look at that. You'll see that in a second, because you're on a delay. Yes. Uh, I can see it. YouTube doesn't put the artificial, like, 50 second delay. Like Twitch does, for example. Twitch does artificial delays? I thought that was, like, necessary. Uh, no. It's just to avoid, uh, stream sniping. Streams. Oh, that's true! Stream sniping! I wish you could turn that off, though. Sounds like something people might want to turn off. Let's put something on King's Peak, like a little hole. There's the world's butthole in King's Peak. Put some little extra mountain peaks here. Come to King's Peak, place of the world's only butthole. <laughs> Have you seen the molehole from KSP? I don't even know. Uh, no. Well, that sounds interesting. Kerbal, Kerbal Space Program, due to a glitch in how the uh, game was treating essentially normal maps that dictated the surface of the planets or something like that. I'm not an expert on that, unfortunately. Um, the, based on that, there was a specific area on one of the planets, on Moho, uh, that was pretty much a deep, deep, deep hole, almost to the center of the whole planet, uh, that had gravitational anomalies there. So basically, if you approach it, you get drawn in there, and there is no way out. It's just like an infinite hole down to the planet core. Down to the planet core. One of exactly. the challenges that people have been doing is to drive a ship there and establish a long-term uh, base installation. Mm-hmm. <laughs> In the butthole. <laughs> I want to draw another cliff, but this one ends abruptly. In the middle of a forest, you just stumble across it. Where it goes, nobody knows. Is that up? Go up, up, up. Come on. Maybe move it down a bit. Nah, this is fine. Looks like a nice cliff. Look at this little canyon in the middle of nowhere. I've not named everything yet. I do know this is called the Freyport. Let me just put on the labels. Uh, we got Tel Alim, which is the capital. Tel Bakir, which is like a little bit upriver. Then we got the big names, which are like descriptive names. Like the first half is like all description. So it's like Aztel Zenith is just means that it's the spring of a river. <laughs> <laughs> and then you've got the actual name, which is uh, I think it's Poke or Hoke or. Yeah, it's plaque. Which sounds like plaque. And everyone calls it plaque. And they're like, no, it's not called plaque. Then you is, is, is to get something for it. Oh yeah, Astrala Makim is, is, uh, is, uh, is, a, is, a, is a place with an oasis. I forgot to draw the oasis. Whoops! Let's draw a nice oasis. Sure, start off with a nice little pool of water. Yeah. Put a little palm tree next to it, because everyone loves a palm tree next to an oasis. That's how, you, that's how you tell. That's how you tell it's an oasis. It's got a little palm tree next to it. Some little coconuts in there. Let me reset a bit so that looks like a coconut. We got a little palm tree. Let's give it, give it, give it them some typical spiral pattern or whatever it is. I don't know what the pattern actually is. Bam! 
palm tree. That's Oasis. a cute palm. It's a cute palm. Coconuts. It looks like I got a little big. It looks like I got a big old nose and eyes. Like, hey, how are you doing? It's my place. Give me, give me, give me, give me money, or I'm gonna kick your ass. I love it. It's nice. Around it is like grass. A little bit of grass. Maybe, maybe, maybe put a shrub in there too. Nice little shrub. I like to draw shrubbery and and stuff like this, and then erase it out so you get this general nice shape. And draw a nice spiky fern too, because everyone loves spiky ferns. There you go. That's a nice oasis. It's like the midway point, ish, kind of ish. Because it's not that far away. Why would this be even be here? Why would there be a camp so close? Maybe because no one wants to go to Tel Bakir. Maybe it's a bad place in town. And everyone's like, you go to the camp and they just go along the go along the farmlands. Don't even go there. Hmm. That should be a nice way to put it. Like, there's stone to quarry up here, but down here they only have clay, so they make clay huts. That make, make a lot of sense. I really like how this, how, how this turns out. Like, how much of just sense of depth you get where you just pile things on. Here it really looks like there's a lot of stuff built on the bridge, which makes sense, because the bridge is the place where like there's no like fertile land you'd be wasting. So it'd be the cheapest land, even though it should be the most expensive one. A little canyon. What's in the canyon? Who knows? It's half the half the fun. Is me going? I don't know what what's what's over there, but once you go there, you might find out. <laughs> I like the good old rule of the GM doesn't even know, but he'll pretend he does. Yes. Let's make some cubic trees. So everyone's like, what, "What's over there? Why, why are the cubes trees? The trees cubes over there?" I'm like, "I don't know." Like that one game. What was it again? Minecraft. Everything is cubes. Uh, I kind I like had square trees. I, I like I like area. I like games and things that have square trees. There's something about them that is just so mysterious. Like, why is it cubical? Why, that's not an optimal shape for receiving sunlight. Sounds that's... getting a call. No, I don't know. Hmm. Unless it's you, in which case it could be someone getting a call. Now nah, all of my phones are like way away. Yeah, but I usually don't get that because we don't have like telephones rigged up that way. Hmm. It might be someone. Yeah, I'm not dropping any frames, so it's not on my end. So whatever it is, it's it's weird. So there's some square trees. Maybe they won't even notice. Maybe no one will notice, and they'll just like eh. It's just Maybe how the map is. Those aren't even trees. Maybe it's just like those rock formations. I love those rock formations. I want to put those rock formations somewhere. Maybe put them along a, t a city. Because I really do love the basalt, like, hexagonical rocks. They're yes. Cool. You know what you should look into? Mm -hmm. um, the backgrounds for Endless Legend. They have some crazy amazing backgrounds. From floating rocks to those hexagon things. It's just amazing. Unfortunately, I'm not too good at drawing hexagons. But this will be a nice exercise then. Up, up, up. Here, let me copy paste that into Discord. Yeah. Here you go. Well, this is nice. Got some nice s salt crystals. Dig your salt crystals here. That's what they look like. Let's take a look at these maps of yours. Oh man, oh yeah, I forgot. They have some funky ass uh environments. Giant ass beehives. Big old. Oh man, I love those cut up hills. They look great. I want to put some of those in. Maybe I'll use them in the crimson. Like, I'll just cut up the hills a bit to show that they're sort of semi solid with blood. Also, I like that spire. That looks awesome. Um, just. I'd almost say dump it in the chat. Oh, no. See, this is what I do when I don't want people seeing my stuff. It's like, here's make tap A to make GUI appear. A good jolly message for everyone to appreciate. There's also stuff that you can just borrow from Stalker. It has like little patches of land with trees growing out of them just floating in the air. It's kind of neat. Actually, oh, here you go. I found them. I love the just... idea of actually like the thing being cut up. Like they're actually just cut up. And they're bleeding. Yes. The hills are bleeding with blood. Instead there of without an oil grease. I should probably actually just post this in the... Uh chat as well. I'm not entirely sure if the thing will let me post links, but let's try. Click. Yep, yeah, it doesn't let me. 
can I promote you? Because I do think that you're worthy of it. Let me, let me, let me. Sure, if you want to make me a mod, that will probably allow me to post link. You are now a moderator. Go for it. Thank you. Here's Yay! I think it also records the chat, so... Yes, it will display it for everybody who watches it afterwards, so that's good. Which, unfortunately, requires you to be a Patreon! Wink, wink, nudge, 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 There's actually only two people here, one of which is you. Yeah, these cut-up hills add a lot of, like, ooh, what is this place? Ooh! Ooh! Look at this pile of water, looks like he's mildly content, like, hey, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm just a pool of water. Or maybe it's a pool of blood! And let me copy paste that in the chat as well. <laughs> Click. Oh, cool. I love that half. That's actually pretty cool. Half sunken buildings. Stuff floating off the ground. Well, we already got a floating island, so. Actually, doing a small, like, floating. Hmm. Ooh, I love that one with the spiral swirl. That actually might fit in well in the, in the, the desert spot, like with the. No, that already looks fine. I'll put it somewhere else. Hmm, maybe that's why no one lives here. It's not just the shadow stuff, because they could just take a shortcut like here. But if, what, if there's something in the way, naturally they wouldn't. There's something creepy in the way. It helps to already, that I already have a lot of drawing experience, so... So already have some idea as to how perspective tends to pan out. But what is this surrounding, then? Maybe it's nothing. Maybe it's another hole in the ground. Or maybe it's just a big old ball. Let's put a big old ball. Because everyone loves finding big old balls in the middle of, oh, of like a weird shape. Put little wind swirls around it to give it that extra mystique. Why is it so windy around it? Maybe it's a big... Maybe it's just a giant whirlwind. Like, there's a huge storm overhead at all times. That's what's going on. That's why everyone avoids it with their sand ships. It's just too dangerous. I want it to be flatter. That looks like an interesting feature. That makes you go, hmm. That looks awesome. Fun feature. Maybe that's why they set up camp near Estrella uh, Macam in the first place. So they found like a little floating pieces of sand. Like floating balls of sand that are just like seeping into the seeping back into the ground because of gravity. That will probably also give us an excuse to use those tricks a little bit more. It's like, hey, these are the only people who know how to navigate all those anomalies between the towns that will kill ordinary people. Now maybe there's just like random places where shit. Like this place is is it has it's just weird magics going on. Like there was a like there was a big war. So maybe the the war is recent enough that there's just magic floating all over the place. And that makes it extremely dangerous for just people to go... I like, I, like the, I like the idea of the Drake Corsair. Being like a little ally. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Oh, figures. The moment I hope up on the call, everybody wants to talk to me. <laughs> Which isn't that big of a problem, just a little bit inconvenient. But yes, I would suggest taking a look at things that already feature... Um, Anomalies and such that you can use. I mean, nobody's going to bother with fact checking or, you know, complaining. Actually, the fastest way to there from here would be around the mountains because you can't go through this. This is this is too this is too like steep sandy hill stuff. You can't go through there, so they'd have to go around here. But why would they skip the outpost? Why not go straight there? Have that you ever seen go... the Ooh. mirror anomaly? The mirror anomaly. Go for it. I'm I'm curious. Copy. Let me paste that in Discord. And let me also copy paste the link to the chat. Lick. Oh, that's that's awesome. I want that. I might not do it here, but I really want to do that. That's so cool, though. It's just a random ass mirror replicating reality. 
that's normal. That's fine. There was also another anomaly in one of the games. I think it was in Call of Prepit or something. But essentially, there was a bubble in space, and once you got dragged into it, you were unable to walk out. So which, whichever direction you walked, you would just end up in the same spot. One of the missions involved, uh, essentially, one of the stalker groups has heard a radio call, SOS, essentially Mayday, from this place, but they couldn't pinpoint where it was coming from, so they assumed it was an anomaly, and they asked the player to investigate. And so you go on a little bit of a quest to discover a specific artifact to nullify this anomaly, and once you do, a bunch of corpses just fall out, and they contain audio logs, like apocalyptic logs, saying how people slowly uh, starved to death and uh, went insane. They just wandered off and got lost. And it's, it's pretty, pretty crazy. And apparently, they got stuck not only in space bubble, but also in time bubble, because this is like 20 years ago. At least the people from 20 years ago, who disappeared a while back, have shown up. It's, uh, it's pretty bananas. Do, 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 do. Sounds cool. Sounds very cool. And there's extra hills. Mm. It's looking pretty busy, though. I think... Uh... For now, we've got enough features. It's got, like, a couple of features in every, like, big, big area. And that's just, like, the things you can see. Like, who knows what's, like, hiding in between. I need to make a list of just weird shit that happens. What do you find? Nobody knows. Random ship sunken in the sands, a little skiff, big old tower. Who knows where that goes? Maybe that's the entrance to the Undercity, and everyone's like, don't go there. There's a big old wizard who lives at the top, and it's not a wizard, it's just a staff that's automatically blasting people. And that shouts angry words. That'd be cool. So it's not a wizard, but it's like his answering machine. <laughs> be afraid of the mighty answering machine! Ow, I just burned my foot on my... Ow. Salah said I should extend the mountains over here, and I said, okay, that makes sense. I have a little mountain range to... to Block things in a bit. Let's probably turn off the labels. Looks like an impa. Maybe there is like a village there. Maybe no, maybe no one is like, let's let go past the sunken sea. Hmm. There's like a little camp here. We'll put a little, put a little tent here. It's like you. Maybe they used to do stuff here. Maybe they used to go there, but now they don't, because it's like, well, we can just go through Freyport and then go all the way to Telbakir. Why why take the trouble of going through the mountains? Like, that was an old attack attack pass. Went through the mountains, they say. Adds a little bit of history. Hmm. Thinking about stuff, adding history. Making a place feel as cool as can be. <laughs> Maybe we'll add a little cave in one of these. Look, why is there a cave on this weird ass? Here's some more. Lick. Random cave on an island. Who knows where it goes? Jeez, I do keep pressing Control D, which causes duplication. Think. Hmm. Okay, so that's just some random rocks. That's not the most exciting anomaly. Oh, it's something. <laughs> just go play the game, you'll figure it out. Yeah. Unfortunately, these are from uh, Stalker 2 that was never released. It's mostly just the concept art. There are the anomalies that are just gravity anomalies that suck you in and kind of rip you apart. There's also the goo that, if you step on it, just slowly melts your bones. The goo! Over, over the course of a, few, of a few hours. And plus, there is also the thing with uh, the children of stalkers always being mutants and monsters. Because they're the exposed goo. to this. Yes. I love saying goo. 
Yes. What were what was the name of those goo monsters that are like jelly cubes? A gelatinous cube? Yes. Here's one more. Let's turn off this, see what it looks like. Oh, that looks rad. That's starting to come together. This map's starting to be a place. I'm dreading this place. Let's go take care of some trees. <laughs> the trees are annoying to draw. Let me take another look at your thing. Oh, that's rad. I love, I love urban jungle. Although that looks a bit more jungle than usual. Hmm, <laughs> what a forest. If we're going to put rocks in, I might as well put them in over near the swamp. Mysterious rectangular boulders. This has been good for me drawing just generic shapes. Nice little exercise. Drawing parallel lines is an art in itself. Especially if they all have to be parallel to each other. That's a place to explore. It's just like, maybe it's just a place. Maybe it's just a place. Here's some experience points. You found a place. Ba -ba 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 -ba. You found the place. Oh, I remember the specific artist that pretty much just dedicated their entire gallery to creating enormous vistas with just ridiculously detailed backgrounds and just, you know, two small figures walking somewhere at the edge of the screen. I wish I could find them. How do you like my swamp trees, by the way? I think they look nice and swampy. <clears throat> Didn't get that in the... Because it's mostly... I'm inspired because of that video that uh, How to Be a Great GM made. He made a video yes. on, let's draw a map. And I'm like, okay, let me give it a shot. I know how to draw. I can probably do something of at least comparative quality. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair enough. I knew someone who has been doing maps of different stuff. Ooh, maybe if I draw something not like... Sure. Like some hanging strands that connect trees together. That give it extra. Ah, oh, that looks great. Mm. I'm not sure, however, if they are active anymore. Also, apparently, they've added new species. To what? I was gone. To the endless legend. Oh, I, I love endless legend. I want to play that again. I'm going to play that again. Maybe today. Maybe endless today. legend. You're going to play that? I might. I might not record it because it's sucking it. But well... I always play on baby mode because I always play those games on baby mode. That's okay. Do you mind if I hop on later on? I should probably still install it. I don't do multiplayer in any game where anything can be competitive because I'm a sore-ass loser. It's not competitive. It's not like we're going to fight against each other. We're just going to bunch up together against everybody else. I want to do a quest ending for once. Uh, in any case, I'll probably install it and just binge play that for a few hours. Man, I love how just... Drawing like a different shape for like the generic trees, it immediately says, "Here's here's just some 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 leafy trees with some conifers mixed in, coniferous, coniferous. <laughs> what are they called again?" And it's like, "Here's some cubes. What? I'm not cubes." At is the it... very least, you're making the stuff unique, so that's good. I mean, I've pretty much stopped playing regular RPGs because, I mean, humans, elves, and orcs only get you so far. At some it point, you're gonna want to play a bug lady. Yes. Who lives here? Why would it not? be Fae? Would it be just halflings who are like, or maybe gnomes who are like, I just want to build a treehouse, and then they build a treehouse, and they were like, done with it. Okay. What are you going to say, Como? I said that 
humans, elves, and orcs grow pretty boring after a while. Yeah, they're pretty. They're pretty standard. Yeah, that's why I start playing things that offer just that. I mean, the Elder Scrolls was like a breath of fresh air, honestly, because hey, you get to play as essentially races that are not humans that everybody hates. And it's fun. Oh yes, the orcs in that game are very different. The orcs in that game are different, but it was mostly meaning the beast races. In Morrowind, they were so alien they couldn't even use the same equipment half the time. That was awesome. To me, at least. I like yeah. that detail. I, I, I had to install a couple of mods to at least give them some helmets and footwear that were specifically designed. I mean, it makes sense for them to be unable to use the... But it also cuts into their ability to use magic items. items and wear armor. Yeah. Like, come on, like at least have something compensating so that they at least don't walk around with half armor. Yeah. Which is why I got some sandals for uh, my Argonian mage. Yeah. And a helmet. Argonian mage. Hurrah. Man, this is going to take forever to draw this forest. Let's just do a smaller section and, and, and be happy about it. I don't think there'd be many trees near the shoreline. Probably less just some shribs. But you can I draw using the ancient technique of just draw some shit. I like how I made this look like a swamp just by adding some little, little lines to give the sense of reeds. Hmm. It's amazing how, how fast the human eye can, can fill sh stuff in for you. Maybe it's the doing of the sand dragon. Or maybe it's just the place and magic's keeping it down. Maybe it was someone who cast global warming. Someone was like, oh man, this spell. Cool spell. It's cool. And there's also cool Ice spell. Age, which is the opposite. Yeah, but how do you... <sighs> what if you're already at the top? What what, what happens when you bring, you bring it up to 11? Well, considering it's an epic spell, it'd probably be something like bringing hell to Earth. And it'd be great. <laughs> Ooh. What? This thing is installing. And apparently it has already downloaded like 30% of it. Take off the training wheels. Oh, that looks... That really does feel like you're going to a swampland. You can already see the roads forming. But as this map indicates, the only people that go up to the temple are the people that live near it. Because the Huanti are like, I'm, I'm do we're done with humanity. Snake people are just done with, with people. Just want to sit in their little temple doing their evil, evil rituals, sacrificing local <laughs> maidens. They just want to do that in peace. They don't want, they don't want anyone bumping in. So I don't think I, anyone would realistically sacrifice maidens. I mean, I'm pretty sure this was just the, uh, just the, just the means to make them put out. You know. <laughs> well, for one, I highly doubt anyone's a maiden in medieval times. <laughs> Well, I mean, at least the reach ones would be, I would imagine. Could be, could be. That's a nice brick pattern. Gives a little bit of texture. Mm. Delicious texture. Maybe the, maybe they, they don't they don't want anyone coming because they're like we, our observatory telescope is really fragile and you people are just gonna smudge it up with your fingers. So they set up an entire blockade for it. You go, you go to the village, and there's a little like ticket draw, and it's like, click, you're number sixty-four. To see the majestic telescope or observatory, which I guess would not be much of a telescope, would be fancier. It'd have a bigger, fancier name. Um. Da, 
Do, 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 do everything right, right? Like nothing drawn on the other layers before I get mad as hell. Oh, I've drawn up some part of the forest. This this just makes my hands go ow. Because I just keep squeezing my fingers. Which is not how you're supposed to draw. Mm, should probably leave like little open areas. Like, this is the road. This is how you get there. Because roads tend to form around natural features. In map making, natural features must bend around roads. So like to give it a little bit distinctive architecture. Like this is just some square house and a big old house, so that's naturally a fort that's been built later. Hmm. That might say something about the local history. Draw a road that goes up here. And these guys have like a limited like a route of access. some houses here. Let me also erase this, because that's getting in the way. Did I just change this? I changed the pen size by accident. Looks great. That looks great. Just some houses. Nice square ones, because I don't feel like drawing anything complex. Just a little village. There we go. This is 100%. Looks nice. Maybe people just live there because they like what it looks like. It's like, hmm, this place looks great. This looks kind of radical. I gotta put some dunes near the beaches. Why can't I take my sand ship out to sea? Well, it's because there's dunes in the way, and you can't go across dunes with sand ships. Speaking of that, is it a floating ship, or is it just like... Uh, there's two kinds. Uh, most people tend to go on the, the, the ships that literally just go across the sand. They're made mm -hmm. of special wood, lacquer, you know, all kinds of alchemical shit to make your boat slide through, like, butter. Or not even butter, because butter actually has some resistance if you don't have a good knife. Um... Um, and other ships do indeed float, and those usually go out to the sinking seas, because you'll sink in the sink in the seas without a proper floating boat. Sounds like an extortion method. It's like, you know, those people who let you get on the camel or an elephant, but they make you pay to get off. Of course, the fanciest uh, mm -hmm. fast floating ships could probably go out to sea with ease. It's like, of yep, course. just go there. But depending ancient. on how high they can float, they might not be able to navigate the seas. Uh, or they just float in the sea weather. and they have like a little, little little bottom area that's like all pushed away. Yes. But if it's pushing away the water, then it will just sink to the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> but eventually water pressure will cancel it out too. It's because... Mm -hmm. Some small little dune grass on there. I feel like Bob Ross going. Let's put, just put just put a little, little bit of dune grass up there. Give give a little bit of give a little love and smile. I 
Reminds me a lot of the Nile, the way it's drawn, set up. Then again, it's hard to think of the desert and not think of the Nile. Hmm. Oh, got... Whoops. Zoom in over here. Thank you. Let's put a little village here. Little, little mud huts. They're the way to get to Fort... I think it's called Fort... There's Fort Ney and there's uh, Fort Nidar. Which literally means goodbye in the language for this area. Which just shows how they felt about the people when they made that fort. <laughs> Let's put a little square flag on it to show that it's part of Freyport's little deal. Here's a fort. We called it Nadar. Now get out of here. Look at them fields. It's a very cultivated island. Man, it'd be a heck to get there, though. Probably to be mostly done by sea. There we go. Let's put some water lines around it. Just give that sense of this is a, a a dock at sea. Impressive how just a few lines can sell the illusion of water. Look at that! Now it looks like a place that's surrounded by water. How would you even get up this island? That's a question. That's an adventure in its own sake. Maybe the answer is just wish really, really hard. And get a wish spell. That can never go wrong. I wish to be on the top of the island. Whoosh! And have you ever played it. Morrowind, by the way? Yes, I have played and beaten Morrowind, and there's a playthrough of it on my channel. There is? I should totally watch that, because I don't remember. In any case, there is an asteroid frozen in time floating in uh, over a city yes, that was I know. supposed to crash into. Yes, I know. It's a prison. In an administrative center. Yes. And then you can actually allow it to crash. Killing Vivek. Or actually winning the game also does that. Well, technically you could just kill Vivek through other means. I mean, Vivek is just an elf that has discovered the way to uh, access the console. In the game. He achieved Chim. What? Or Kim. Hmm? There's a special state. It's called Chim or Kim. C H I M. If a person achieves this, they essentially achieve enlightenment and become gods. They get access to the actual game editor, so they can bend the reality of the game, of their world, to their to their will. It's implied that Mike the Liar, for example, has achieved Chim, which is why he shows up everywhere and he's a little bit cuckoo. Chim. Never heard of it. Maybe I'll put, like, a little rock sticking out of the water here. Here is the link for the viewers of the video. There you go. I kind of want to look at this. Oops, Take this space does not exist. Of course, it has an explanation in the game, etc., 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 but... Vivek, in his books, has essentially claimed to have that seen... That you know, link doesn't drop, work, by the way. Drop, drop down. Why doesn't it? It should. It just links to the Elder Scrolls Wiki. That is so weird. That is so weird. Let me check the link again. Hmm. All right, fair enough. Let me replace it. No, oh, actually, if I one? look it up and go to the exact... Yeah, it's weird. There you go. It's called the that Secret Syllable of Royalty. Yes. Hmm. 
was the creation of Nern. That's the world, yes. It's implied that, Nern, that the whole Elder Scrolls series is existing not in a universe of sorts, but instead in a giant bowl with yep. a sun and a planet that orbits it. And the stars that you see in the sky are actually just... Other a... planes. No, it's just a black, black egg with holes in it. <laughs> I mean, the moons in the sky are essentially the corpses of dead gods. That's gross. Yes. It's pretty bananas when you think about it. It's pretty scary to actually live there. You know, it's not a good place. You know the plane of oblivion, right? Yes. Every Daedra has a, their own plane. Well, the place where the games take place is also one of such planes. It's just that the Daedra responsible for it wasn't that much of a dick, so he created a nice place. Wait, what do you say? I was so much distracted. I was looking at you. Uh, that's life. okay. The I... world that the players actually live in, you know, where the Argonians, Imperials, and all the other fancy races come from, right? the regular, like, medieval fantasy setting, is also a plane. It mm -hmm. just looks nicer because the Daedra responsible for it, or at least the deities responsible for it, weren't such uh, that big of a dicks. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, I love the, the, the Alai. The Alai are, are, are a cool race. I love how every race is so weirdly different in that game. Streamers block, by the way, did you ult up? The stream is back because I closed the window. So that I can look at your fresh. messages without all your personal information getting spewed out over the streets. Okay. That's alright. Oh, man. I was also not drawing anything, so not like you missed much. I hope the human eye can actually pick out. Okay, there's some squares over there. There's some. Hmm. Well, it depends on how far they can zoom in. Oh, they're gonna get the full file, so. That's good. So, Frank is to zoom in as far as they like. Wait, could this... you zoom out a little bit? I think there is a butt in the uh, in the sense. Just thinking, look, it's an ass. The air. To the. Uh... To the upper left corner from that forest. Yes, there are two butts, three butts even. Those are hills. Well, I'm going to call them the butt hills. It's literally just butts. Poot. All the houses next to it. That's nice. Nice. <laughs> Poot. It's like trees cutting down the middle, which is why they built the bridges. Man, that's Stephen Hawking's man. Finally, finally. Kick the bucket. Yeah. It's actually be somewhat reasonable with the details here, because it'll start interfering with the bigger pattern, I feel. Hmm. He has been like that since I first heard of him many, many years ago. Uh, he's. I think that was since birth, actually. Or at the least for a mm. longest time. 
Yes, he was diagnosed at a very early age with ASL, essentially. Uh, a, a sickness that essentially causes the neurons responsible for uh, muscle movement and such to degrade. Not degrade. He was prophesied to die within a couple of years and he lived for 50 more. I mean, yeah, despite the fact he looked the same for like, what, almost 30 years for me. And I just, I just, I just never expected him to actually croak. Honestly. Even though I thought it would, yeah, it would actually happen. One of the best things to come out of that man that is not related to his scientific endeavors is the Professor Hawking's episode of Dexter's Lab. Because that had a janky tune. Shoobly doobly doop. Ah. Uh, I didn't get that joke at the time, actually, because I didn't know who the hell he was. I was like, why, wh wh what's this all about? <laughs> and then I later learned, I was like, ooh. Ah, the pyramid and the submarine and all that weird jazz. I wish they aired this episode, but they don't. They've got to air Teen Titans Go for the 18th billionth time. Bleh. Can't live without that. My my younger sisters like that show. I don't know why. Teen Titans Go? Yes. Well, look, it's a reasonable... <sighs> you got to give it credit. The I problem guess. is that it's so often on television that I'm surprised they yes, want to watch it Yes, because they're the very, very... Because they're bite-sized. Because this is the specifically the show format. They have short stories. The best episode ever of that show, however, is the one there where they have uh, actually deviated from the art style. And this show is actually really good. When it doesn't look like how it usually does. My biggest problem is that it just uses the wrong source material for it, though. Maybe, because they're focusing on comedy, but... Here's the link. No, the problem is it's like it, it's a superhero. Used. It's a superhero gang, and they do weird sketch comedy. Yes. Which would be interesting if it was a proper deconstruction of the concept, and it really isn't. It's not. As a deconstruction, it'd be great, but it's. But not. it's getting a little bit better in the later seasons. I mean, give give, give it credit. At least they're trying. At least they're self-aware. At least they make my sisters it. laugh. I'll give them that much. And that, too. If you can make those little dipshits laugh, whatever. I'd watch that, but I'm on stream. It's just the music. You can put it on in the background. Oh, man, I gotta watch out, though. We're approaching... Actually, we're getting slowly closer to 9 o'clock, at which point we might do something. I don't know. Man, this is our... It feels like it's been going on for longer. That's because I've been drawing so many trees. I want it's someone to right. count all these trees and tell me how many I've drawn. Ugh. I will not pay you for the job, so consider it... Cons you get paid an exposure. The best currency of all. <laughs> Here is an exposure dollar. You can exchange it at a store for someone acknowledging that you did something at some point. Shoobly doobly doop. I'm looking forward towards today's uh, Pathfinder session. I'm surprised at how much you guys are procrastinating the main quest, but that's fine, because you can't expect everyone to care about the main quest all the time. Well, also, like, half the team the isn't quest, even involved with it. I'm not even it, so. related to it. Yeah, that's mo also kind of a problem. It's like, I don't even know what you guys want. You didn't want the uh, Black Dragon shavings. I got you some Black Dragon shavings, and I slept her in the nose. Didn't even go back to get that solved out. Just like, let's go back to Nivellin now. They were like I'm one ingredient away from completing it, so... Where did they need this thing? Uh, at, though? At a temple that was off to the side. It would have been a bit, bit travel, yeah. Well, fine. They went to Nivellin to hand in the quest, probably, to solve this murder mystery, and then it's like, oh, shavings. <laughs> oh, sorry, the world is ending. We just got distracted a little bit. We got distracted by petty politics. Petty politics. I well, mean... the Knoll armies are invading, and there's somebody trying to overthrow the kitty cat governor of the city. Kitty cat governor! Oh, <laughs> don't call him that, please. Why not? I'm old. I'm an old coot. I'm allowed to call them whatever I want. If I've you do that, you might pinch your cheeks and part. say you're adorable. That's fine. I mean, if the kitty cat governor pinches my cheeks. It's an honor, governor. Pinch. Yeah, I'm not gonna object. Honor, gov! 
a governor. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Why is it doing this? Good golly, gosh darn it. I'm telling you to install, and it's like allocating space, and that is just stuck. I'm excited for Pathfinder 2 coming up. I wonder what they're going to do. Shoobly doobly doop. Why would people even live near this place? Maybe it's just because it's expensive. Like Blood Sand sells for a good price to the right person. Maybe, maybe or maybe it... they have no choice. Maybe they're enslaved by the vampire. Maybe. Or maybe it was advertised by some con artist. Now, it improves your longevity. There we go. The mountain range is taken care of. Woo! I should put some details in there to make it feel more alive because this is a bit of a of a this is a bit of a dead zone. Oh, it's fine. I'll just put like a little hermit's fortress there, a little little just a little baby castle. <laughs> I would love if there were a little bit more ruins though. Maybe it is like a ruin. that sunken building. Maybe the ruins of war, long since abandoned for... Not reasons. necessarily the ruins of war, or just somebody lived here and nobody bothered to see where they went once they disappeared. There's a lot that can be done. I mean, hell, my own story thing is pretty much everything is built on top of the ruins. What is a good symbol for a ruin? Let me look that up so I can draw inspiration. Oh, that's a good one. Like a couple of columns and a shiggy old roof. Those are nice icons. I'll use those. Maybe there's a ruin near the big mall. Like someone was like, I want to explore this. But they failed. And then they died. Well, not every expedition is supposed to end in death. Maybe they just couldn't do it and they just gave up after a week. But yeah, a couple more ruins wouldn't really hurt. Maybe there's ruins down here. Maybe that's where what the chasm is. There's just a whole castle sunken into the ground because someone in the Underdark mined under it. Maybe. I love this map starting to get some character. Too bad I decided to put a fucking forest in it! Ugh! Or maybe it's been like ten different generations and the castle changed hands for like, I don't know, a couple dozen times. And nobody really had the time to repair it, so it's like a ruin with one tower being replaced with a ramshackle wooden one. Ugh. There's got to be something up here, too, in this little corner. Give you a reason to cross the river, go outside, have some fun. Let's put, yes. some, let's put a spooky old house there, like some, some good old man's jamboree house. You know you're a redneck when you want to have a jamboree. God, that Game Grumps episode is terrible. Oh, that feels a bit like a ruined house. I should make this a bit bigger. Big old hole. Cracked window. There you go. That feels like a ruin in the middle of nowhere.
Heck yeah. So much to see, so much to do when you're taking the back streets with the Backstreet Boys. That's what Smash Mouth is really singing about. <laughs> you never shine if you don't glow and try to be a shitty back, shitty boy band. There's so many memes about this song. It's just ridiculous. I think it's a it's a it's a fine song. I I listen to it unironically. Ooh, I listened to it before. It was cool. Mm, 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 mm. It is indeed. Oh heck yeah! Maybe I'll put some. I need to learn the the the, the names for this. Uh, here's some ruins icons. Let me look up a coniferous tree, because I know the terms in Dutch. I don't know the term. It's a deciduous and coniferous. Coniferous. Um. Oh no, some coniferous trees are also deciduous. What? No, now I can't even tell the difference. What are coniferous trees, though? They're those trees with pines. Then what are deciduous trees? Those are those trees. Falling off of maturity. That's a very telling term. <laughs> but yeah, there's some deciduous trees out here. Or some sidious trees. It's it's that, that, that movie about that guy that is in space. Like he planted some deciduous trees because he's like, I wanna I want this place to be just like home. I wanna have a good old jamboree. <laughs> I'm pretty sure laughing at redneck doesn't help anyone. But we do it anyway. <laughs> I mean, we're in a Louisiana swamp, effectively, so. Wow, I can actually, yeah, that that's very, I like that, I like that a lot. And there's a little, little dock out here. It's a little baby dock. You know, you're a redneck when going outside means having a wrestle gator. It's like, what? No one lives in the Everglades like that. <laughs> the biggest problem with that argument, by the way, is that a lot of rednecks live in, like, Texas or in Ohio, and live in places that have cornfields, or in places that don't even have water for alligators to live in, yet for some reason Redneck alligates all these cultural and geographical backgrounds into one, and says, well, they're all like this. Listen, man, I don't think an overall is the best thing to wear when you're sitting in a truck. Especially not when you want to take a quick whiz. No one's going to wear a fucking overall in a truck. It's, it's a terrible idea. Oh, oh, no, no. Ah. She's gonna have a stereotype, at least have it make sense, please. Almost done with a section of forest. It'll be the best day of my life. Burr, 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 burr. It's gonna be the best day. Yes. I ain't gonna live forever. Uh, 
Ugh. Ah, my hand. Be careful. Don't get I know, purple I know. syndrome. Ugh. I think I might stop. Uh, it's been an hour and I don't record all that much, but this is like additionally straining on my hand. That's okay. What I would suggest is to find some map maker uh, brushes. Brushes? Yes. You know those custom brushes? You know, you, 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 you place a stroke on the canvas and it draws like a bunch of little trees. I don't think uh, size supports that. So I support some custom brushes. You probably have to hard code it inside, but essentially there are specific SI setups that some of the artists make that you can download and use their custom brushes. I think it would go against the style of the map to do it now, but it would be nice to have it later. Oh, yes, just at, at a later point, yes. Also, I could have just drawn like a few trees and said, oh, this is a forest, and instead of drawing every single tree to fill up the space. Ugh. This, by the way, is 100%, so this is actually, this is not going to look like this, this is what it's going to look like. That looks alright, you can kind of tell where places are, once I fill in these trees you'll be able to see a bit better, but it's really starting to come together. You've got to take care of these labels, though. I'm not going to fill in the whites of the label until later. Like, I plan <laughs> to, at some point, um, do some of this with, like, the background, so that you can actually read the letters. Yes. Here, Would you like some custom fonts for this, or just I can't. Whatever? You can't use fonts. There's no text tool in Sai. You can create a specific, very nice looking stuff in a separate program, then import. Yeah, it okay, you're right. I know, I know. And just put it in like that. Yeah. I don't know if I have open office, but I guess I could throw some fonts in there. Also, this is not pure white for some reason. Now I got some pure whites. Mmm. Mmm, look at that baby milk white. That's the kind of milk you'd pour on a baby. With a big old funnel. Drink your whites, baby white. You're gonna need your strong bones to be stronger. Yes. So you can grow up to be ironic man. <laughs> ironic. By the way. If you need some advice on Knights of the Old Republic, I'm ready to give it, because I've gone for the game a few times since then, and uh, I can give you some suggestions on equipment and such. You could, you could. Just uh, non-specific, non-spoilerific advice. I know, I know. And I really like how this map looks. I hope you guys have fun with it. I'm going to give you two versions, by the way, one with and one without labels, so that you can see the map more. I'm going to print it. It's actually pretty big. It's one of the biggest images I've ever made. Yes. Don't forget to press Control save every once in a while. Oh, yes, and I also have backup Cause Sai files. loves to crash on big files. It's only about 2,000, though. 2,000 by 1,000 or something? Or 1,500? Yes. Like, I've it's not crashed on my 4,000 about... canvas for a while, so... I've put a limitation of about 3,000 to 1.5 because uh, anything above that on my computer just chokes on it. Actually, this is a good place to make another... Um... Hmm? Also, those lakes, I imagine those lakes look like islands. These? Uh, top right. That or those? Uh, I need to wait for the stream to catch up. Yes, the ones that you zoomed in and circled first. So this little chunk here is uh, that's a that's a, a water that's a, a ruin in the water. It's supposed to be. I might draw a little yeah. house on top to give it a little extra ruiny feel. Yes. Oh no, not that one. The one below. Just below. This. Oh, that looks like an island. Instead of a... Yes, those look like islands on land, which is a little bit kind of weird, but that's fine. What the trees? No, 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 no. To the left of, to the left, and to the uh, to the southwest from this observatory, with some houses sticking like out of the water, with like swampy areas. Here. To the south. Oh yeah, there, those are island right houses sticking out of the water. Yeah. But it does look like those lakes are. Islands, or at least the little outline at the edge of it, looks like. Hmm. I guess you can see that. Yes. Yes. 
it would be better if you made the rest of the map conform to it. So the whole coastline would have lines. It I've actually have already done it, yeah. On the inside. Yeah, that's fine. But I can see where you're coming from, yeah. <laughs> like the sunken houses. Like they tried to maybe I wonder why the houses are sunken. Let's just think about think a bit about uh, the Ah just the Maybe they tried to build brick houses and it doesn't work. <laughs> Maybe there was a mudslide or a flood, or maybe no, oh, yeah, somebody tried to you know change the flow of the river and screwed up, and they flooded the city instead of the fields. <laughs> anyway, time to the close up shop. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.